Breaking news! Recently, the Kansas City Chiefs made a move, and it's causing people to talk. I'll tell you all the details, but first make sure you click the like button to always be well informed of everything that happens in your favorite team. Let's go to the news! About six days ago, the Chiefs made a move releasing a defensive veteran, but we recently had confirmation that the team went back on its decision, bringing the player back to the team. After releasing veteran defensive end Matt Dickerson in a surprising move, the Chiefs reversed course and re-signed him. Kansas City brought Dickerson back a few days after releasing RB Law Michael Perrine, creating an additional roster spot. In the 12 games Dickerson suited up for, he played 24% of the snaps overall, compiling 15 total tackles. He could easily end up on the practice squad given the Chiefs' overall depth, but Dickerson's ability to play inside makes him a valuable player for the team. Dickerson began his career with the Titans before briefly going to the Falcons and joining the Chiefs. He also recorded a tackle in the AFC Divisional Round against the Bills, getting some plays in the playoffs in a close game. Charles Ominihu is expected to miss the start of the season as he recovers from an anterior cruciate ligament injury. Mike Dana and Felix Anyadakuzoma figure to get the bulk of the unoccupied snaps, but Steve Spagnolo could be creative with Dickerson in the middle and Chris Jones on the outside at times. Having an extra capable defensive core gives the line some much-needed depth, so I'm glad the Chiefs brought Dickerson back. Either way, Kansas City is the heavy favorite to win the AFC once again, largely due to the excellence of the defense. Brett Veach has made it a priority to bring back most of that group, with the exception of Legereus Sneed, and that continuity even extends to backups like Dickerson. We know he can intervene if necessary, and it is wise to plan for an unavoidable injury. It's important to note that Dickerson is an invested free agent, so he will go directly to free agency when released and not waiver wire, allowing the Chiefs to trade him. At that point, Dickerson will have a chance to win the Super Bowl for the second time in as many seasons, potentially with a decent role at the beginning of the year. Now I want to hear from you. What did you think of this Chiefs move? Was it a good decision? Write your opinion in the comments below. Don't forget to click like and subscribe for more news. Go Chiefs!